Well, here we go, part two. Just where well, it's gone past dinner time, but me and Tom are in our uh, dinner a little bit later than usual. So, okay, tick this off and get going. Lots of combining stuff, lots of straw stuff today, lots of straw stacking, so stay tuned. I'm going to do combine, not my dinner now. So that's dinner hard. <coughs> Um, or I've just started finishing it. It's like we're just going around the outside of the field now, but it looks like it's a bit of stop and start. Um, I don't know if Tom's digging some soil or if he's found something. We'll head around the corner and see what it is. But the issue we get when you stop and start with the combine is the the, um, the stuff that's still in the combine is still coming out. So comes out in a pile like that so when you come to bail it it just makes it a little bit more difficult we have to slow down for these bits so I can bung the bale oil if I can get my words out um, yeah and then you leave a, a gap and then it starts coming out again not like a mega issue but it is what it is so Tom's had the flashing lights on for quite some time now, but now you can see the wheat bubbling up in the top of the tank. See that? I think he's just hoping and crossing his fingers that he can get to the end. Otherwise what he's going to have to do is cut a way in here so that I can get alongside of him. Um, looks like he's going, he's going for it to the end. Gonna push it. It really is getting full. Hopefully, it makes it anyway. Look at this. He's getting ready for it already. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think he can make it. So close, but yet so far. You can see it on the back there, really. I think he's coming over. Maybe just with how he's stopped. We were so close there, I can see why he's trying to make it. Right, I better get myself in that gap and uh, we'll get unloaded. Get it tipped in. You'll have enough out now to get to the end of the shoe. We've uh, just parked a little bit funny. Filling the, uh, filling the trailer up right. And just back off. Look at those tracks. More based. I had a bunny rabbit. Just went into there then. Missed it though. Damn. More rabbits. Going into the hedgerows. When we're combining, we're doing these little fields, uh, which is a little one at the side of it. There's three all together, and all three of them put together aren't as big as the field that we're in now. And that was meaning that the combine was going round and round the outside, stopping, turning round, getting into the corners, things like that. So I was able to keep him up, keep up with the combine, because he was messing about basically. But now we're in this big field where it's nice, nicer long straight runs. Um, he's going to get away from me and he'll end up having to wait. So we've got Andy coming with the tractor and trailer, which I think is about here now, to, um, to help me cart from this field so that we can keep the combine running at all times because it's an expensive bit of kit it's in demand like other people are wanting the combine to be at their farm so um, it's essential that we just keep it moving all the time so we're back at the farm now um, Amy's just taking the bales off the trailer for me shut this door um, 
yeah, she's just putting them together and then I'll stack them a little bit later. We'll get this weighed in and uh, get her tipped off. So having nightmare problems now because the 7530 is leaking oil from the cab suspension. I've just dropped it off to show you what I mean. This side we have a hydraulic cab suspension and it's leaking oil and quite a bit. It's like a constant stream coming out of it. So it's another thing that I'm going to have to fix. Uh, swapping onto the 69 now and um, hopefully that'll back running but M still needs a tractor to do a mix with so whether she just uses that while it just leaks a little bit um, might be the only option but I'm not taking that on road I mean that on road sorry with it leaking like that it's no good so Tom's had to wait for me this time because we uh, swapped the tractors over bad do just going to get a little bit more into this load. Look at that, scorchy or not a cloud in the sky. Hopefully Andy has found where it might be leaking from on that ramp. But um, it might just be a bit of a big job to, uh, to get in. It might just be a tightening a nut up kind of job, but um, it's on the back side of where we need it to be and uh, means we might need to jack the cab up and take it off completely to do it. Sounds like a nightmare. Right, so I'm just trying to look, see if behind here is something that I can tighten. That's definitely where it's coming out of. So I might just have to tighten that up and it might be good. Assuming that ram and accumulator is like you can buy it for either left hand side or right hand side and then um, it has two nuts either side so you can put your pipe in one side and a blanket play on the other and then if it's on the to the right hand side the opposite to the left then you put um, your pipe on the other side and your blanket plate on the other and it's if anybody's confused then um, yeah, I'm good at confusing people. Um, but anyway, the blanking plate is leaking, so I've got M finding the Allen keys out so that when Andy gets back with his trailer, uh, he can just have a little tighten up of that and um, and just see if that works. Of course, call Vipper Farm Services and get him to come out, but um, it's going to be like 250 quid before they've even fixed anything. So um, if we can just sort it and if it's simple like that then the uh, jobs are done isn't it? Tom's back on. It's getting dusty, very very dusty. As we're going down here, because this is the side that his auger's on. So that red thing on the combine that's spinning round we call the reel. Then we've got the auger which is in the um, bottom right of the screen. That's feeding it into the feeder housing. And in front that we can't see there's like um, a load of blades that are uh, moving side to side to cut the corn. The reel's just pulling the corn into the uh, into the header. Just making sure it's going the right way. Well, again, we're just going to check under the straw. Oh, it's so dusty. Whew. And we're just checking to see if there's any. I'll flip this camera around. If there's any wheat under the chaff in here. So there is a bit, I don't like how much there is there. You 
you're always going to get a bit no, I don't like that area there where's well, a lot together see Tom's just going to adjust his sieves a little bit um, so they have sieves, so it's like a sieve um, in the back of the combine that's going like that and you can alter the size um, the, the opening of uh, opening of the sieve so that um, the grain, more grains will fall through but you'll get a sample that's not as clean which, when it's a zone wheat, it doesn't really matter if the sample's clean or not, it's just going to go through the mill. So, um, yeah, I'm not really that fussed about a clean sample on our own wheat. Before buying it in, it'd have to be clean, because you don't want to be paying for the little bits that, um, that aren't wheat, and that haven't got protein in them, and I haven't got energy in them. But when it's our own, it all adds to the cow feed. Oh, and it is legend! Um, managed to fix that um, suspension bit it was just the nut that needed tied in up on the other side and he's also lifted the cab up with a bar and I'm guessing M's helped him and pushed the ball back on so we're all back up and running on the 7530 so M can do a mix now things are getting better by the day guys things are getting better by the day by the hour by the hour they're getting better I don't know if you can see that but my dad's in the field now bailing Pumping the Heston bales out. Tom's there combining it. Usually, in a normal harvest, we'll have to cut it with the combine, leave it to dry for a day or so, and then um, and then we can bale it. But not this year. Not this year. Like it's too dry coming out of the combine. So um, if we're leaving it a day, it's yeah, it's just making really terrible bales. Not sure what that one's coming out like. That says he's been having a few issues. So Tom's racing up the field now uh, to finish this one of wheat, and um, we're going to go into spring, some spring barley now, and then. We have got another little field of wheat to do, but um, just with the way that the trailers are working out, Tom thinks that it will be best if we do all the spring barley first, um, which I'm just happy to do it whichever way he wants to do it, so um, we're going to do that. Just had a little bit of fun getting it out of the, uh, the gateway here. Managed it, got it. I'll drop the header off. It's a bit of a pain. We'll sort it. It's been a bit of a boo-boo. I've got the keys for the gate that they need to get into. So Andy's gone all the way down there to open it with another set of keys. It didn't have the right key on. That's a bigger pain, isn't it? Um, but we're not we're not waiting because uh, Tom's in the background somewhere there. You can't see because the sunlight in the phone reflection. Um, but he's, he's back there, he's not dropped the header off yet. And he's on his way in there. Fucking lies, it's two fucking beacons, it's a necessity. <laughs> Sorry, Andy. You've got him now. So, just dropping the header off now as I go past. Yep, yeah, it's safe, I think. There it is, all dismantled. And I'm off, I'm off. We're off back to the farm, rocking and rolling. Just had the lovely job of re-threading the baler, so you have to get underneath and go up and get the string inside. Not nice when it's this hot, this dusty. Um, at least it's in wheat straw, not barley. It's done, we're back on. So my dad's back off running now. He's not making very good bales, but it's right, they're coming out. 
So we're now into, well, Tom's doing this field here. Then we've got to go through this field of grass. Where we've got some cows in, which for some reason they're in this field, which we do not want really. Um, and then go into that on the horizon there, that barley. And cut that. Now, keys, hasn't it? So I said, Andy, unlock me that gate. And then when I get down here and I've got a bit of spare time, I'll ride over to the other side and I'll, um, one, try and push the cows out and just check what the gate's like at that end for getting the combine through. But I've gone through the gates, I've shut them. I press a padlock together, haven't I? Like an idiot. So it doesn't really make much difference, but it just makes me an idiot. Um, and he's going to have to come back across and I'm going to have to grab the key off him and let myself out. And he's back. I get the keys off him. This seems to be a recurring thing, doesn't it, with the keys? Hello, Joe. <laughs> Do you need these? Please, please. What? I'm locked what in. I done, man? Yeah, what a dumbo. I know. I need to go to bed, basically. Yeah. I think you could probably drop the trailer. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. That's what I'm doing. I've pipes out. I'm gonna turn my stand off and then we should be all good. But I think this is probably where I'm gonna leave it, guys. Um, me and Andy have got another two fields to do. Some bailing going on at the side of us, obviously, as you've seen with my dad. So whether we get these two fields done and cart some bales, I'm not really sure. But um, it could be a long, long night again. Um, so yeah, we're gonna leave it here. I can edit my video because I've got a little bit of time and get it out so you guys can see it. If you've liked today's video, please remember to press that like button, subscribe if you've not already. And um, if they want to get on Mixer Mentions, Andy, what do they do? Follow the link below. Description below. Business, that's correct. He's got, he's, you must be watching these. Learning you must, you learning, must know, he knows. something anyway. <laughs> so thanks for watching guys. We'll catch you later. Em's back at the yard, um, so we can't catch her, but um, she's busy. What's she doing? She's doing mixers and feeding the cows. She's like keeping the farm running, isn't she, basically? Yeah, she's the cogs. She's the cogs that's keeping this running while we're just sat here making videos. So thanks, Em. Um. Bye, everybody. Bye. These guys have been getting in my way. This is not really what I wanted them to be doing. Playing fun and games with us. But this is not ideal try and get the combine through and we've got all these cattle galloping about. Oh, this really is brilliant. Keep pestering me at the gate. <laughs> oh, it could be an interesting night. See you later, guys. Yes, I've got them into the other field and shut the gate on them. That'll make tonight's job a lot easier.